Constable Mike Wheeler, Nicole Bell, and other officers of the night they arrested me, and the complete RCMP detachment of the Comox Valley, to be arrested under the Canadian Criminal Code Book 494.1, giving a civilian the right to arrest anyone who breaks the law. To the United States of America, if the Vancouver PD cannot do their job by arresting them and that are not affiliated with them in any way in these acts to Canadian citizens and myself, which I went through for the last 12 years, period. The United States cannot do it by themselves, then it's a UN team with the Russians. Not the British, because it is the Queen Magistrate's laws. And as I said in the past, it's like it's a British invasion against Canadian citizens that were infidels to them, and they're more superior because they speak with a British accent, or they are from Britain. We are a separate country. We listen to the Queen's Thrones, and we respect her by having her on our dollar bill, and we give her how much of her taxes per year still. I think it's 13 or 20 percent of our taxes. I'll go to the Queen still. Criminal Codes 181. Spring of false news. 268, aggravated assault. 224, 219, And that's all for now. Human rights violations of the Canadian Criminal Code book. Imprisoning somebody before they have been tried and convicted in the Canadian Criminal Code book. Ethnic group being poverty. Ethnic group being a male. Ethnic group being a male with hair on his face, being a minority as well. In Canada, all men are minorities. And North America. Ethnic group as well. White. Ethnic group two, we're Canadians and we're here pre-World War II. As a question of World War II and all that other stuff from my previous YouTubes can be brought up as well. That is my accusations. Those are my charges to Mike Constable Wheeler, Nicole Bell, who was attending that as well in the room that didn't stop him from letting me go with him because I said no twice when he put his hand on his gun and started acting forcefully and the other guy who was up in that thing with blonde hair I forget what his name is and the security guard when they jammed me with the needle that passed me out that as far as I know is a chemical lobotomy and caused me no harm to good also, human rights infringements 12, 15, and more. They had no form 5.01 for DNA analysis or any feces. If assassined or killed by any way, made it look natural, it's an assassination by a government and the RCMP, as far as I see, with the hatred I feel sometimes that is projected towards me or any further masons. Or this condition that uh, they've caused me in health-wise with these injections that they gave to me at the hospital and their discrimination groups. So all those who are affiliated with them, arrest them and uh, let's take this to trial. If legal aid has to look after it as far as I know. In one case it's uh, probably worth a million dollars for what? Two, three lawyers to look after. UBC McGill, places like that, University of Calgary, University of Saskatoon, which uh, could be even more money depending on how long out it is. So 12 years of destruction of my life, I'm tired of it.
I have done nothing wrong. And uh, you can't make somebody live in a psych ward or a jail-like system and psychologically torture and abuse them everywhere they go. Uh, it's not a training scenario, and it's not a normal life to go through this kind of shit. We're all slaves and have to uh, work and make our keep to uh, live. I gave a, a scenario of what uh, I can do for a job. Well, that's the only thing I can think of at this time. Plaster mine slash homestead, middle of nowhere, where I work for six months and six months live somewhere else, where it's warmer because it's uh, too cold to uh, work unless I have tunneling equipment to uh, tunnel underneath the ground. So, there you go. Vancouver PD can't make the arrests. I'm asking upon the United States of America to uh, take over Canada from the top of the food chain down to the bottom of the food chain, being from the constable being the bottom private to uh, the major in the head offices. Because, hey, they train them this way. They're just as responsible for their uh, officers' actions and uh, passing information on through CSIS or their other channels that they may pass information, such as emails today or uh, sending a letter to cause harm to wherever the next person moves to. 60 hours was up last night. The Vancouver PD knows that. I've already asked them and sent them the exact same email to arrest the RCMP detachment of the Comox Valley.